From the bright lights of Hollywood in the U.S., where he has lived for 35 years, a 57-year-old South African-born man recently traveled all the way to his home country to undergo life-saving surgery at Netcare Waterfall City Hospital in Midrand, Johannesburg. Three years ago, the man experienced excruciating lower back pain and he noticed blood in his urine. After undergoing a CT scan, his doctor found a 12-centimeter cyst on his left kidney. He consulted some top specialists in the United States who told him not to worry. But in just over two years, the tumor grew to a staggering size. Due to the size of the tumor and the fact that he had several pre-existing healthcare conditions, including diabetes, high blood pressure and heart problems, the doctors told him the tumor was inoperable and he was turned away. The doctor actually told me, to be quite frank, he said that he's not going to take any high risk on me because he's going to keep his name clean. And well, I felt uh, deprived of my life. I felt deprived of everything, you know. That's why I got into the plane told my wife, I'm ex-South African, I'm going to come back to South African doctors, which I know that they can do the surgery and I know they will do a success out of it. Dr. Marius Conradi, a urologist at Netcare Waterfall City Hospital in Midran, Johannesburg, who specializes in laparoscopic and robotic assisted surgery, is well known for his surgical skill in removing kidney tumors using modern technology and was the first surgeon in South Africa to remove a kidney by means of Da Vinci robotic assisted technology. Dr. Conradi told me immediately that he can do the surgery and I was so pleased that he could remove the whole cyst. The tumour was quite large but I still thought it was plausible to do a nephron sparing surgery where we would just take out part of the tumour, um, especially considering that uh, it was a cystic tumor. Uh, so that was the aim was to reduce the size um, by aspirating the tumor and then maybe getting a possibility of doing a partial nephrectomy on this kidney. A partial nephrectomy is a surgical procedure to remove just the part of the kidney where the cancerous growth is. Once inside theater, Dr. Conradi and his team got underway. But within minutes of inserting the camera port, they realized that the procedure was going to be a great deal more complicated than they initially anticipated. A specialized intraoperative ultrasound scan probe revealed the tumor to be an enormous solid mass that could not be separated from the kidney. So the team had no choice but to surgically remove not only the tumor, but what remained of the kidney. While the kidney was excised by means of laparoscopic surgery, a bigger incision had to be made and Dr. Conradi had to use his hands to remove it from the patient's abdomen. I was just gobsmacked. I, I immediately asked the staff, we have to weigh this thing because this is probably the biggest uh, cancerous tumour from the kidney that I have um, heard of or I've personally have performed myself. The tumour weighed in at a massive 3.2 kilograms, more than the weight of many newborn babies, making it the largest kidney tumour that has ever been removed in a laparoscopic surgical procedure in the history of international medicine. You'd be amazed to know how many firsts we actually do in South Africa. It's clear that our doctors uh, travel overseas extensively. They uh, ahead of the curve in terms of uh, technological advancements. Um, and uh, certainly make sure that they know exactly uh, what is happening in the world. The surgery was a complete success. The patient spent one day in ICU and was discharged from hospital after only three days. Hello doctor, how are you? He will soon return to the US with his family, thankful that the incredible skill and talent of a South African doctor saved his life and gave him and his family a new chance to live life fully.